You're watching ATW Weekend Edition. Welcome back to ATW Weekend Edition. We're your hosts. I'm Anthony McLaughlin, and with me is Wade Brown. If you're a regular viewer of ATW, then you'll remember that just a few short years ago, we brought you the story of Marie Webb. Marie is a talented artist in Halifax who is the youngest woman ever to have her own solo show at the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. And since that time, Marie, who has Down syndrome, has continued to create and has added yet another talent to her already impressive portfolio, that being fashion designer. Marie is the owner, creator, and designer for Lemonade Stand Designs. Her fashions are whimsical, colorful, and vibrant, and she calls them wearable art that's a celebration of life on the body. Halifax's Laura Bain tells us more about this emerging fashion powerhouse. And you did this all by hand? Yes, by myself. We are backstage with fashion designer Marie Webb and her Lemonade Stand Designs models as they get ready for a runway show at Atlantic Fashion Week. Good job, Marie. Right now, they're posing for photographs, but in a few minutes, Marie and these models will walk the runway. Proud parent Renee Forrestal can't help but rush into the shot to fuss over Marie's outfit. I didn't bring the spray. Stop it! But Marie is anxious to keep working her poses with the other models. Founder and executive director of Atlantic Fashion Week, Angela Campanoni, is thrilled to have Lemonade Stand Designs in the show. Lemonade Stand was uh, a line that I had seen that I absolutely fell in love with. Her work is so incredible and happy and just joyous to look at that I thought they would be great to have on our runways. Welcome to Atlantic Fashion Week showcase number six. Everyone feeling good tonight? The collection is called Happy Juice Popwear. It includes flowy flare dresses and silky wraps in vibrant colors with bold designs and playful patterns, all accessorized with black stockings and Doc Martin boots with yellow laces. Model Charlotte Smith is a fan. Tonight I'm wearing a blue fit and flare dress. It has tank top straps and it ends just around my knees and it has lots of bright neon colors outlined in black. It's really beautiful. It almost looks like stained glass. The show's a hit and Marie is over the moon as she takes a final bow. I couldn't get enough of Marie's wearable art, so a few weeks later, I visit her in her studio at Wonderneath, an artist collective in Halifax's North End. Together, we leaf through a sketchbook yeah. filled with some new designs. Oh, wow. Oh, this is like a cape. Yeah, cape, Brian capes. Yeah. yeah superhero. This is, yeah, definitely is an outfit for a superhero. <laughs> yeah. The studio is a playful, colorful, and happy space filled with light, dresses, fabric, markers, and sketches. The perfect space for Marie to create her designs. So this is a new one that you, you're just starting. How do you know what you're gonna draw? In my dreams. In your dreams, oh, okay. You're just gonna see what, what the drawings are and then decide. Yeah. Marie and Renee, an artist herself, enjoy time together, including needle felting, pushing wool into fabric with a needle to create patterns. What about the skirt? You got a star on it? No, but a heart. Oh, butterfly, okay. And what's this, a heart? Butterfly, a heart. She understands color composition intuitively. She understands uh, composition intuitively. Uh, some of it I taught a little bit, but not much. So most of it is just really innate in what she does. And even when she was quite young, she was always designing dresses, but they were on her Barbies. And it never actually even occurred to me that this was something that she'd want to pursue. It takes time to do this kind of work. So Marie is incredibly productive. Productive and prolific, <laughs> put it that way. She's always producing. She even designs the fabric her clothing is made from. It's rare for Marie's father, Nick, to visit the studio, but today he's got good cause. What do you think, Cindy? A courier parcel from her fabric printer. You want me to take it away? No! I didn't think so. Oh, boy. 
It's meters and meters of colorful stretch silk patterned with Marie's artwork. A lot of her art is about celebration, family, and friends. People uh, are really overjoyed when they see it. I think they respond to the immediacy of it, the, the playfulness, the joy of it. Marie, if you were going to draw a dress for me, what would you draw? Thank you, hearts for you. Hearts for me. Yeah. Oh, I think that's a good choice because I really love the heart drawings that you have. Oh, yeah. How do you feel when you're drawing? I'm really happy to draw it. I really like Marie's designs. They are bright, colorful, and stylish. I also really think it's cool that she not only designs the clothing, but the fabrics too. She certainly is talented and very passionate about what she does. You know, she sounded so happy when she was talking before her runway show and while speaking with Laura in her studio. I just couldn't keep from smiling through that entire piece. I couldn't agree more. And something else to smile about is that Lemonade Stand Designs is now selling their clothing online. So if you're interested in buying a dress or if you just want some more information, you can head to their website, LemonadeStandDesigns.com. They would make a great gift, but Wade, I don't think they have your size. Hey, Anthony, you never know. Eh, fair enough.